Alright, what's going on guys? What might I back at it again in here for the audio video for you guys for today. And in this audio video, I'm going to be talking about TNA Lockdown, which is coming, uh, of course, this Sunday. And actually, I forgot about it, uh, you know, with all honesty about this pay-per-view. But this weekend, it wasn't brought to my attention not too long ago about the pay-per-view. So, uh, I don't know if I'll be watching it, uh, you know, at you know, that much anyway, and with TNA as of late, it just really has been cutting it for me, there isn't, isn't really too much of a reason to me to keep turning in too much, uh, but I do watch it here and there, and, uh, you know, for some of the good parts and stuff like that, but other than that, you know, uh, just overall with TNA as of late, I really haven't been, uh, you know, in the mood with TNA, and, uh, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on that. So uh, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to uh, do this lockdown predictions and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Alright, kicking things off here and, uh, you know, with no particular order, of course. And of course, all the matches will be inside a steel cage. And with this one, I am going to kick things off with Samoa Joe taking on the Pope. And uh, with this storyline and how it's, you know, turning out, I haven't really been into it and that uh, you know, at some points it got, you know, kind of weird and, uh, you know, just I don't really like how they're feuding and everything. Uh, you know, as far as my pick is, for, you know, concerned with this one, uh, I am going with Samoa Joe to get the defeat on the Pope and now, you know, maybe the storyline will come to an end. Uh, you know, it could have been at least a little bit more better the way how it turned out, but, you know, uh, my overall pick is Samoa Joe and uh, to take out uh, the Pope in this match. Alright, the next match I got here is Kurt Angle taking on Jeff Jarrett and uh, what seems to be, I'm pretty sure, uh, as well as the last meeting, if I'm not mistaken. And with this one, you know, this one wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, I haven't really had too much problems uh, with this storyline. And, uh, you know, with this one, um, I am going to have to go with Kurt Angle on this one. Uh, you know, uh, you know, finally, uh, you know, taking out, you know, Jeff Jarrett and uh, moving on from this. And, uh, you know, especially what's been happening with these two and, uh, you know, in the way this has basically gotten really personal with them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go off as far as my pick. And that is Kurt Angle to take out Jeff Jarrett inside the steel cage. Alright, then we get into another match here. Uh, in the way, it's kind of like a tag team match. Uh, we got Immortal taking out Fortune in this one, and now uh, we have the returning Abyss, which will be uh, in this match too as well. So, uh, with this one, um, you know, in the way, I guess it could go either way, but I really would like to see a Fortune, you know, come out and top and take out, you know, a Abyss's team on this one, uh, even though Abyss uh, did return and uh, is probably going to win this match and taking out uh, Fortune, so, um, you know, overall my pick is Fortune, and uh, if Immortal does win, uh, I will be kind of disappointed, but, you know, I wouldn't really, you know, be all that surprised too, but my overall pick will have to be, yes, uh, Fortune to get the win on this one. Alright, next match that I have here, and uh, in the match that I'm actually really nervous about, and uh, that is, of course, uh, I'm sure most of you know where I'm going with this, and that is the Hero versus Title match. And it seems like this matchup is still happening, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I know Mickey James has a, you know, arm injury, and, uh, you know, depending on what's going on, uh, I'm not too sure if she's going to be still uh, able to do this match. But hopefully TNA does smarten up and, uh, you know, have uh, Mickey James win the championship. If not, then that would be really stupid, and I honestly cannot uh, see Mickey James lose her hair on that. And it would just really be a stupid move, in my opinion, but hopefully that does not happen, and that's just the basically thing that I'm worried about. So hopefully, uh, you know, if she's still able to do this, hopefully she'll bring the title home to the James Gang, and uh, you know, have a good run with that. So uh, that's well, as far as my pick is concerned, and if that's it, if it is Mickey James. All right, moving along into the main event, we got a triple threat, and this is with Sting, Robert Van Dam, and Mr. Anderson. And this is, of course, with the World Heavyweight Championship. And, uh, you know, with this one, I would either say Rob Van Dam or Mr. Anderson as my picks. Uh, but, you know, since, you know, Sting has came back and, uh, you know, won the world title, uh, you know, that probably won't happen. But, you know, since the game of, you know, Hot Potato, uh, you know, with the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, I wouldn't really be too surprised if the, you know, world title changes hands, uh, you know, at lockdown. But, you know, it probably won't happen. You know, we'll have to wait and see. 
Uh, but overall, my picks are either one with Rob Van Dam or Mr. Anderson uh, probably becoming a new TNA World Heavyweight Champion if that does indeed happen. So that's it with my uh, picks and with that one. Alright, so that does it for my TNA Lockdown 2011 predictions. I probably might not be here for my review, and I uh, probably won't be doing a uh, TNA showdown for quite some time. Uh, so it, it might come back, you know, here and there, but, uh, you know, that's basically it with that one. Of course, you know, let me know what you guys thought so about Lockdown. Uh, what are some of the things you, you know, you might be looking forward for and not be looking forward for? Uh, what are your predictions and stuff like that? You can drop your comments always down below in the comment section. And uh, that about does it for this audio video. And uh, as always, I will talk to you guys later on. Peace.